Hi, welcome back. If you're like me, you have various Google accounts, and sometimes that leads to issues where you try to open up Google Drive for your school account, and it opens up a personal account, for example. And this can be really maddening. It seems like it's a sort of a glitch where it gets stuck in a different account than the one that you think you're opening. So in this video, I want to show you a fix I found that will solve this problem. If you have various Google accounts, you probably added them right here where you click your icon, you go down here and you can add accounts. You can see I have two added accounts right here. What happens is if I click on one of those, it will just open up the Google search page under that ID right here, okay? So it's in this Google search page, but you can see at the very top in the actual Chrome browser, I'm still logged in as my school account. So this is where you get an issue where there's kind of a, a cross that happens between them and they get stuck in various accounts. So to avoid this issue, what you really need to do is get rid of these accounts. You want to sign out of these accounts and not add them down here. And what you want to do instead is you want to create profiles using this icon up here. So I'm going to walk you through that process here next. So the first thing I would do is I'm going to go back to my primary account here, let's say my school account. I'm going to go down here and I'm going to sign out of all accounts. So I'm going to go down here on the lower right hand side, I'm going to click sign out of all accounts. Okay, now I'm going to have to sign back in to my primary school account. Now once I'm signed back into my school account, I can click on this lower icon again on the Google search page. And I can click on these accounts and I can remove them. And this is what you want to do. You want to remove these so that nothing is showing down here. Don't use these anymore. So now you want to go up to the icon at the top in the Chrome browser, click that and you're gonna go down here to add. So I'm gonna click add. So I'm gonna use Tiger Tech as an example. So whatever name that you choose and put in here is the name that will show up. So you wanna make sure you name it appropriately. I'm gonna call it Tiger Tech. And then you can pick any symbol here. It doesn't matter because these symbols will actually not be used in the next step as you'll see. So I'm gonna click that and now I'm gonna click add. Now on this next page, you wanna click already a Chrome user, click sign in. So now it will use whatever icon you already have established once you sign in right here. So if you've forgotten your password, you can find it probably in your saved list in the other Chrome browser. So down here at the bottom of my screen, I can see my other Chrome browser with my symbol for my Fleetwood account right here. I can click there. If I need to look for my password, what I can do is go up here to the three dots in the upper right hand corner, click those, then I go down here to settings. And in settings, you'll see passwords right here. You can click on passwords, and then you can search for that account right here. So I'm going to start typing the email address here. And as I do that down here, the email address pops up, but also the password. So then you click this eyeball right here to show the password. You're going to have to enter in your regular login password one more time, and then that will give you the password. So that's one way to check if you forgot your password. I'm going to go back here. I'm going to type my password in. There may be a security message that pops up that you need to confirm or you may need to send a code to your phone. And then you get this message about synchronizing and I'm going to do that, say yes, I'm in. So if you notice what happened, now I have the Tiger Tech icon up here in the Chrome browser and in this Google search page. And down here at the bottom of the screen, I have the Tiger Tech showing up in a new Chrome tab at the bottom. So over here, if I click on this one, I'm still logged in under my school account and then on this one over here on the bottom, I'm in with Tiger Tech. Okay, so now let's just say I open up Google Chrome and I want to go to switch to that Tiger Tech account. Remember, I don't use this lower icon anymore. You don't want to have anything here. Instead, you want to go up here to the Chrome browser at the top, click on that icon, and now you want to click on this. So when I click on this, what happens now is it opens up a brand new Chrome browser logged into Tiger Tech. And what is nice about this is anything I do now on this Chrome browser is only going to be related to that Tiger Tech Google account. And it's not going to get anything confused with my school account. There, when I open up Drive, it's going to be the Drive for Tiger Tech. You know, when, I, when I go to the various websites and I log in, it's going to be under Tiger Tech. It won't be under my school information or my school account. So this is the way to avoid the cross-contamination that happens between those two accounts and those glitches. So again, you just walk through that process and you can re-add other accounts here, as many as you'd like. And then anytime you want to open those, select them from this list 
and that's going to avoid those issues. Hope that video helped. Let me know if you have any questions or comments. Again, you can always reach me at kbolendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. Until next time, have a great day.